So let's take a look at uh, the, the next thing is what can be done about volatility and workload? Some of us are 24 hour a day operations. Some of us aren't. And so we have, we have swings uh, in the requirements of the workload. And so those swings require us to have uh, some built-in capacity. Um, in some cases, I refer to that as stranded capacity. Uh, but you have built-in capacity to allow you to work through the peaks and valleys. So what's a key to a, an effective cloud environment is a variable capacity environment. Uh, on the cooling side, that's variable capacity uh, compressors, variable speed fans. On the UPS side, it's uh, energy efficiency or energy economization modes that can be deployed at less critical times uh, during the compute environment. It involves distribution uh, loops. You've heard about elimination in some cases of distribution loops. In other cases, PDUs are going to be in, involved that have as high an efficiency as possible in the TP1 rating. But when you look at it, the, the data center infrastructure and the IT infrastructure, especially on the operations side, they need to work together. Uh, this is a complex problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this as a C-level executive with a major enterprise. I think this is the biggest game changer, at least as far as you know, if you talk about a cloud-centric data center, whatever that may exist as, is beforehand, as a multi-tenant data center provider, I could look at the IT stack and go, it's not my problem. I mean, it kind of is, but, but uh, and we do different things because we want to work with our customers and they understand our design criteria on the traditional colo side. But now if you start looking at the cloud offering, our IT and our data center folks have to merge. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we've solved that yet. And that's the one thing I really give credit to like, Google and Facebook and some others is, is there's still these two stacks that as much as I can control the entire stack now, we've had a real challenge of that. Um, and I'm really curious to see what comes out um, we're trying to produce some homegrown stuff. Mm -hmm. but a lot of guys are doing data center infrastructure management. And I think this is going to be a huge challenge um, to at least me as I look at our CFO or our CEO. You know, I, I can't look at our cloud, our, our cloud computing pool offering dedicated managed or private or public and it's just a big server pool and go, well, those guys are just atrocious. They're, they're a horrible internal customer. He goes, I don't care. Figure it out. You know, you can now control the IT stack. And I'll say this has probably been our biggest challenge yeah. is because he wants to see that Facebook, Google recognition of some of those efficiencies mm -hmm. as well as, hey, how do we do this variable compute and, and DCIM stuff because we can control the whole, whole IT stack. And this has been a huge challenge for us that, that uh, we're working on uh, both on internal products and external DCIM products. Well, I'll tell you, Emerson feels that data center infrastructure management is a key. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, data center users group uh, survey about uh, a year ago, um, data center infrastructure management jumped to the number one front of mind issue. And some of us got together and talked about it and said, well, why do we think that's the case? Uh, and, and really it's because you want to know what you have, you want to know where it is, and you want to know what it's doing. Uh, and if you can answer those three questions, for the most part, you can manage your application environment and really squeeze as much as you possibly can out of it. Uh, effective data center infrastructure management will give you improvement in availability, and it will give you a utilization rate that is higher than the norm. Uh, I talk utilization rate. I talked earlier about stranded capacity. Okay? You want to use every bit of the equipment that you've deployed, either in an internal cloud environment, or you want to get every bit of it out of an external cloud or a hosting environment that you can. So data center infrastructure management is a key to understand what you've got going on in your data center environment.